Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how you can enable the SSH protocol for the ION SA5600 cell Avaya Cell Edition Secure Appliance. This tutorial will demonstrate how to enable the SSH protocol for the SA5600 cell. A couple of key points before we begin. SSH by default is disabled and must be enabled explicitly. When SSH is enabled, it is enabled for both the CentOS operating system hosting the cell gateway and the ION management CLI interface. The default port of 22 is used by the CentOS operating system and the default port of 2022 is used by the ION management CLI interface. After you've physically connected your PC to the auxiliary port on the rear of the SA5600, press return a few times to wake up the prompt. For the first question, Begin Oxport session, accept the default of yes, then press return. For connect as default user, again, accept the default of yes, then press return one more time. You will now be granted access to the SA5600 command prompt. When accessing the ION menu via the serial connection as the default user, this default ION user is admin with master access class and who possesses access to all menus and options. In order to enable the SSH protocol, we will use the command SNS for set network services. However, before we execute this command, let's take a look at the current status of our services by issuing the command DNS for display network services. As you can see here, SSH is in fact disabled. Let's now execute the command SNS, then press return so we can enable it. For the restore factory defaults question, accept the default of no, then press return. At this point, you will now need to step through each service by using the return key and change each one accordingly. You can toggle between the enabled and disabled fields by pressing the spacebar key. Now, since I'm only concerned with enabling the SSH protocol, I'll pass over the other services until I get to SSH. I'll then press spacebar to change the status to enabled, then step the remainder of the way through by pressing enter a few more times. The command is now complete and SSH is now enabled. You can see if I now attempt to connect to my cell gateway using PuTTY, I am prompted with the familiar certificate security alert. And that's all there is to it. You have now successfully enabled SSH. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.